us look at the functionality of the key network functions that make up the 5G network. First, let us start on the side of the radio access network. We have the 5G base station. A 5G base station that uses the new radio technology is referred to as a G node B. If it supports both NR and LTE, it is called as NGENB. The main function of the G node B is to provide wireless connectivity to the 5G devices in an efficient manner. The rest of the course covers the G node B in full detail. Now let us move into the core network functions. 5G is a mobile network, so the device will move around. And one of the main function of the UPF is to act as an anchor point for the device when it moves around. It also provides the interface towards the internet. Since it provides the interface to the internet, it is also a good place to enforce the policies to ensure that the device does not exceed the amount of data that the user has in their subscription and also a good point for lawful interception since all the traffic flows through user plane function. But even before the device transmits the data, the network needs to establish a new session, give the device an IP address and release the session when the device has finished its activity. This is the role of the SMF or session management function. The UE actually communicates with the AMF and the AMF forwards all the session related messages to the SMF. That brings us to AMF. AMF is access and mobility function. The AMF is primarily responsible for supporting the devices to move between different radio cells. In addition, it is also responsible for establishing encrypted uh, uh, signaling uh, connection towards the device so that the device can register itself, it can get authenticated so that it is ready to access the internet. Another missing piece of the authentication process is the actual security information and algorithms. This is a part of the authentication server function or AUSF which supports the AMF with authentication related functions during the different procedures. We now come to the UDM and the UDR. The user subscription data is stored in the user data repository or UDR. The UDM is the front end for the user subscription data. The AMF does not contain the user subscription data to directly perform user registration, authentication, etc. So the UDM supports the AMF in the process of access authorization registration management for the device, etc. For example, the device may not have roaming privileges or might be barred. This kind of information is stored in the UDM and UDM provides access to such information to the AMF when necessary. Now we come to PCF or policy control function. PCF supports charging related functions depending on the usage by the device. In addition to charging, from a policy perspective, the PCF provides two kinds of policy support. The policies related to session management, for example, a certain kind of traffic is supported or not supported, and policies related to 
non-session management things like access and mobility policies. For example, the device may not have the right to access the network in a certain geographical area. These kind of policies come from the policy control function. Thank you for joining this lesson. See you in the next one.